Hi guys, this is Brianna here from The Seven Dorks. How are you guys doing? I'm here today to talk to you about planners. Um, I love planners. Planners are my favorite. Um, I love it when it comes to the beginning of the year of school and I get to make planners. This year I made planners for all my children that will be doing school. Um, no, all of them did not need it, but the little ones really liked the idea of having one and being able to mark off in their book what they have accomplished throughout the school year. So I said, why not? I had extra paper, I have plenty of ink. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna show you first my planner. My pl planner is a half page. I just put mommy's planner. Um, put something on the side for when we put it in our uh, bookshelf. Um, it's very simple. Um, I did make up uh, one of the pages myself um, because they are, I've not found a planner that I like the layout of for seven kids, sorry, six kids this year um, doing school. So I had to, I think I went on Excel and I just created one that I thought was nice and I liked and I like the view, very simple, everything's all together and not confusing. I like things as non-confusing as possible. But okay, so here's my planner. This is basically my month at a glance. I did not make this. This actually came from Scattered Squirrel. They um they have a lot of planners. Um, I like this. This isn't really meant. I guess this is like a a yearly overview of um whatever you want. I'm going to just fill this out and get a general idea of where I think we should be at the end of each month. Um, we don't always stay on track with that, but I like to have that to know to have some goals to go by. Um, and then I have. A list of everybody's books it's not very pretty it's just written in there on some note page um, and then at the beginning of each month I have a calendar for all my appointments everything everything that's going on dentist appointments doctor's appointments um, family get-togethers birthdays everything will go on this one right here and then you flip to the next page and this is where you have, this is where I would put all, like, my school information. Like, so the days I chose to do school, let me switch another month, that way I can show you. Ah, there we go. The days I want to do school, I actually go ahead and write in, like, this, this month we're just doing history and science to kind of get ahead a little bit on that, because... Sometimes throughout the year, we kind of say, oh, it's just science and history. We can skip that today, and then we end up not doing as much as we need to do. Um, and then we have to catch up at the end of the year. So I decided this year, let's do a little bit before we do all the other schoolwork. So it's still kind of like a vacation from school, because you just read a little bit, do a little bit. We are using the good and beautiful science and history this year. Um, so the kids are really excited about this. So for our first year using... The good and the beautiful history we've used we've used science before i think it was um marine biology um but i bought a couple more units this year that i really want them to go through and they're really excited about but i just have a plan out here i just kind of write like these days oops, these days we won't do school and then days down here i got what subject and what now through um as the month go on, I won't write detailed what we're going to do. That's what my daily plan is, planner page is for. Um, but that's what I do, just kind of some general information, how many days of school we need to have to stay on track and everything and not get behind. And then I have my daily plan. Now, when we do start doing all our subjects, our main subjects are math, the good and the beautiful, GMB, I abbreviated it. Um, writing and reading every day we do those um on the days that we do school no exceptions and then we'll have an extra day uh, we actually do these three days a week and then our last day we do science and history um just to kind of break it up a little bit and not feel like we have so much stuff to do all in one day um the kids feel a little bit more relaxed doing it that way so this is very simple i made this on excel um it's got each kid I color coded them. They have bins and they have labels on all their things. 
that are actually color coded to them. All my kids are the same color. Um, not the same color. They have their own color. Um, I did that. Um, I keep track of the um, how many days we've completed, how many days we have left. Um, the week number, I try to aim for about 40 weeks, um, but you kind of get an idea of how many weeks you're at and the date. Uh, you don't have to do the date. I don't do the date. I just mainly keep track of days, but this year I threw in the date. And then down here, I have everybody's name and what book they're supposed to be reading. Um, this kind of helps me keep track of um, what book they read and um, how long they've been reading it because you can kind of go through the months and like, okay, what's going on? You've only, you've been reading this book for two months and they haven't finished it yet. What's going on? You know, so just kind of thing. I have a weekly goal page. Don't really need it. I just threw it in there. Um, I had some extra time and got artsy. So don't really need this, but I put it in there kind of to keep you on track weekly of where you need to be. I have that at the end of every week, and then at the end of the month, I have my monthly goals. Now, this will be used more than the page at the front. Um, this is would be a more accurate of where we need to be each month because you know there comes days where you just can't do school, something pops up, you got to go, somebody gets sick, you got to run to the doctor, um, family just comes to visit, say, hey, how you doing? We're here to see you, and you need to stop school so you don't get that done. Um, yes, you can make it up other days, um, but this just kind of helps you stay on task for everything. Um, but that's my basic planner. Like I said, at the beginning of each month, I have my calendar for everything, my detailed school calendar. I did have a, another page with a calendar on it. Um, honestly, I didn't want just a blank page there. I didn't know what to put there, so I just threw another calendar. Um, this might have my husband's work schedule on it just because I don't know what to use it for, but it's there. Um, and then again, my daily page, I made, um, four pages and I just printed, um, I think, uh, how did I print it? I basically made it on Excel. I copied it. Um, I put it on landscape. I did a print preview to make sure it would have both of them and basically printed it on two sides and just cut it down the middle and poked holes in it with a hole punch to make it half size. It was very, very simple. I can get more detailed in that later. But that's my whole calendar. Um, now for December, we don't do school. Um, I did throw in the month for December, very simple here. Um, because we do a lot of activities in December. Um, I just left the page for December in here. We do a lot of activities, so it kind of helps, you know, bake cookies one day, go visit family, like random things will go there when December comes. But we take the whole month off from school, but we do do a lot of things, lots of cooking and everything. So this is my oldest son's calendar, sorry, planner. His is very simple. All of them have... Uh, all the older ones have these uh, sticky notes in them. Basically, I took the file folders and I cut it, as you can see, and I taped, you can see the tape shining there, taped the sticky note thing to here and poked holes in it so it can stay in his binder. This is very neat to have because you randomly need sticky notes and it's right there in your binder. Um, he also has a month at a glance. They're outside. And he has a basic monthly calendar just because he's doing the good and the beautiful and they need him to plan out his month so he gets to plan what days he does school, which will kind of correlate with when I want to do school. Um, but it gives him a little bit of control of what he does and when. As long as he gets it done, I don't care when he does it. As long as he gets it done, uh, within the month um, and it teaches them responsibility in life so he also has a weekly spread this was also from scattered squirrel very good planners there free I printed them off no problem um, they have half size and whole size planners um, and that's it he just has one for every week and just that's it the same thing through every month 
Um, my daughter, she wanted a half size planner. Hers is very similar. She has the sticky note. She has the month at a glance or year at a glance, however you want to do it. Hers is a little bit more girly, obviously. She has the same style calendar I do. And then she has her weekly setup. Um, we're actually going to ignore the days of the week here because we don't do school Monday through Friday. We do school whenever my husband works. So the days he's off, we don't do, do school. If he's off on a Wednesday, we don't do school on Wednesday. Um, if he works on a Sunday, we do school on a Sunday. Um, just so we can optimize family time. Um, but this is hers, very simple. Very, very simple. This is again from Scattered Squirrel. And then for my kids, if you watched my other video um, about how I put together the, um, the uh, Math K activity box, um, I, the way I, the calendar I did there, I did here. I used tape and I taped the pages together. It's just something simple that I wanted to uh, do for them. I didn't want a lot of money or anything invested in it because they might not even use it. Um, but I want them to get a hold of it, uh, get an idea of how to do things. This is again from Scattered Squirrel. I, th I think this is from Scattered Squirrel. Yes, it is from Scattered Squirrel. Also, very basic. You fill in the month, you fill in the day. Um, I made that on Excel. Um, it's another one. Very simple. Simple. Scattered Squirrel. Also, this is Rainbow for Abigail. Um, the other months are completely blank. This is what it looks like. Completely blank. Jupiter's. She's the one who really doesn't need a planner, but she, she's four this year and she's starting school and she really likes the idea of marking off her accomplishments. They're really excited to start school. Um, they really like having something that is theirs because in previous years, I'm like, no, that's mommy's binder. Let me mark it off. And they really like the idea of having something that they can um, write in or mark off in or whatever. And I really don't care how, like mine, I want to keep the, the markings neat and not all scratchy and stuff so they can do it however they want. So all these calendars are just basic calendars taped together. You can make something on Excel. I think they have like a paint workshop type thing. You can throw some, throw some ideas together. But this is very basic. Again, all the binders. Well, not binders. All the planners. Um, these are my younger four. Um, it's very simple. Calendar, just fill in the day. And then I will actually, for these guys, I will actually write in what they need to do for my 11 year old and my nine year old i'm going to get them in the habit of looking at my planner and having them write down um a week in advance what they need to do um so they can start learning how to plan um it will be real helpful in the future when they start getting jobs and have to plan out their lives um so very simple a lot of binders um a lot of planners but it's worth it so my kids can have, I guess you could say fun, enjoyment throughout the school year. It's not much, but they'll really like it. So like and subscribe. Please let me know if you like the planners, if you plan on using them. If not, um, please visit Scattered Squirrel. Um, I'm going to try and link it down below. Um, they do have a lot of planners free to print out. Um, very easy website to access. Um, so. I am going to try to link it down below, so if I can, hopefully y'all visit their website and make your own planners. Thank you, ladies. See you later.